Hey guys, it's Ali, and in today's video, I want to talk about my favorite American Girl dolls of all time, or that American Girl has ever made. I've talked about my favorite dolls in my collection, and yes, this video is going to have some overlap, because obviously, if I like a doll, I will want to add it to my collection, but there are also some dolls on this list that I do not own in my collection, and we will get to those more so towards the end of the video. A lot of the dolls I like and don't own are on my wish list, so I hope to add them to my collection eventually. So in no particular order, let's get into it. The first doll is one of my all-time favorites. Well, obviously all-time favorites, that's the theme of the video. And that is Truly Me number 62. She is Naya in my collection, one of my favorite dolls. I said that already, but she's just so so pretty. She is a medium skin Sonali mold with brown eyes and her wig is really unique because it's shorter than your typical American Girl doll wig and it's straight and it just looks so good in photos. The Sonali mold is my favorite face mold and yes American Girl does love to use the Sonali mold in a lot of Be Forever dolls or even Truly Me's but I do think overall she's quite unique to the Truly Me lineup. The most similar doll I would say is probably 47 as she is also so it's Sonali mold, but her wig is longer and I believe layered compared to 62, who doesn't have layered hair. So definitely get 62 if you're eyeing her. Unfortunately, she is retired. I got mine from the benefit sale a few years ago, but if you happen to find a 62 that isn't too much money, definitely pick her up. Next is number 49, and we are specifically referring to 49 without perma panties because yes, I own 49 in my collection. Her name is Raylan, but she has perma panties. I never sent her in to swap her body, which I kind of regret because I think that's why I don't use her as much. But if you have a 49 without perma panties, she is one of my favorite dolls that American Girl has ever made. She's so unique for the Truly Me line because she has medium skin and blue eyes, and I can't think of any other medium skin or even dark skin dolls with blue eyes that American Girl has made that aren't CYOs. And she also has a stunning long black wavy wig. It's great for doing hairstyles on and it's really, really pretty. It reminds me a lot of Sonali's. If you want Sonali's hair, but you don't want to pay the price of a Sonali doll, definitely consider 49. And I just love how with her skin tone and wig being darker, her eyes are just so bright and it makes 49 just pop and look super unique. Everyone in this community names their 49 Skylar and I am no no exception. My doll's middle name is Sky, but she's a really pretty doll. Definitely quite popular, more so on AGIG than AG2, but she's one of the most unique dolls American Girl has made in my opinion and therefore one of my favorites. The next doll is Kaya. Kaya, of course, is the Be Forever doll historical. I guess they changed it back to historical, but I refer to her as a Be Forever a lot, I guess, because mine's technically Be Forever Kaya and she is from the late 1700s. She is a really unique doll once again. Again, and she's so stunning. Her wig is really long, very smooth even after all of these years. And I like that even though her hair comes braided, it's two braids. So her hair just looks wavy compared to other dolls that come with like a small braid, like Julie, for example, where if you take out her meat style, you're left with this one awkwardly crimped piece and it just looks weird. So Kaya having the beautiful waves is really pretty. Her collection is stunning too. I'm talking with these dolls more about like the doll itself than their collection, but her collection is really pretty and I would love to own more pieces from it. She of course also has the Kaya face mold, which has only been used on Kaya and Logan. So if you don't have Logan, because there's definitely a lot of people out there who don't collect boy dolls, then Kaya would be unique in your collection because she's unique with her face mold. She's so pretty. Historical Kayas are pretty. Modern Kayas are pretty. And I'm actually considering if I want to take her on a trip with me soon or not, because normally when I travel with dolls, if a doll's been on a trip with me, that's it. I'll take a doll who who hasn't been on vacation with me, but I just feel like Kaya and nature mix so well together that I'm considering taking her. But yes, Kaya is a stunning doll and her hair is super long, but if you keep it in a braid or something, it's easy enough to travel with. Next is Melody Ellison. I absolutely love her wig. It's another short wig, which American Girl doesn't do too, too much. It's textured hair, which is so fun to style. And she has bangs. I think she's my only doll with full bangs because Lainey and Mary Ellen both have side bangs. 
So she's really, really pretty. And of course, she is a Sonali mold, which is my favorite face mold. So bonus points for that. She's a doll that I know I wasn't a giant fan of when she first came out, but seeing other people's melodies, mainly Dolly Delights, inspired me to get one and make her modern. And I know multiple people who have said that they have gotten or are adding Maldif to their wish list because of my melody, not the Luna song, but you know, my doll. Now I have my melody stuck in my head or the Sanrio character, not the Sanrio character either, but she's a really pretty doll and definitely one of my favorites that American Girl has made, especially in recent years. Next Next is Addie Walker, and she's mainly on here just for her story. It's one of the few American Girl books that I've read in recent years, but I wanted to cry and hug my Addie doll after reading her story. So definitely read her books, and I think just having a doll in a collection that reflects her story is just great. I have her lunch pail and I have of course the Be Forever Addy doll and I also just love that this doll comes with earrings. I know Josefina also comes with earrings but the gold hoops just make her look so pretty and so mature. Even though my Addy is a custom, I still just love her earrings. She also has a skin tone that is darker than the typical American Girl doll dark skin tone so that's another unique aspect to Addy. If you think oh she looks too similar to my other dolls like 58 or something, her skin tone is even darker. Darker. Next is Marie Grace. Normally I would say Mary Grace and then people are like, no, it's Marie Grace. So Marie Grace, I guess. Um, she has a unique face mold, obviously the Mary Grace mold, which makes her unique and therefore one of my favorite dolls because she doesn't look like any other dolls. I also just love her wig. It's so long. It's so pretty. Her meat style is pretty and elegant. She has bright blue eyes, which make her features pop and her meat dress is really pretty too. I don't own it, unfortunately, but it's pink and I just feel like she's like a girly princess or at least that's how I envisioned her because she was one of the first American Girl dolls I was exposed to back in 2011. So she's a really pretty doll and one of my favorites American Girl has ever made just for her pure uniqueness. Sticking with unique one-of-a-kind features, we have Caroline Abbott. She's on here because her eyes are just unique and stunning. They're like turquoise with some black worked in there and her collection is full of 1800s Regency dresses. I really want to get more into historical fashion and sewing that. I I sewed a Regency dress recently for my doll and I really wish that I got more of Caroline's items when she was around because nowadays I would gladly dress my dolls in historical clothing for photos and unfortunately one of the two American Girl doll items I've ever lost was Caroline's meat dress which makes me really sad. I really need to just get one off of eBay or something to say I have it but uh, if I had her dress now I would be taking so many Regency photos especially with my new doll 83. It would be so beautiful but yes Caroline even though she's a classic mold, she has stunning eyes, a really pretty wig, so that is why she's here. Next is Leah Clark, and she is on this list for her stunning wig. It's one of my favorite doll wigs in my collection, and therefore one of my favorite doll wigs American Girl has ever made. It's a unique color, as far as I'm aware, so it's like this caramel color, but there's highlights of different colors worked in there, and it's just so pretty. It's long and wavy, so you can do so many fun hairstyles with her wig, and it's just really fun to play with. Her collection is also really fun. It's one of my favorites from the recent girl of the years because of all the bright colors, but I might also have some biases sneaking through here because Leah is the first girl of the year doll I got and I fully immersed myself in her world and her collection. So all of the items are just super nostalgic to me, but I really do like the bright colors and with her traveling to Brazil, the bright colors and like carnival vibes, like I really like it. So she's a really pretty doll and she has a really cool collection. Next up is Truly Me number 20. We love a blonde classic mold doll with blue eyes. She's so unique and she's really, really pretty. And they totally don't have 10 other dolls that look like 27. This was sarcasm, if you couldn't tell. I'm not a 27 hater, but she's definitely not one of my favorites. I just wanted to throw in a joke and yeah, why not? Next is a doll that I don't have in my collection, but she has been on my wish list for a while and I really want her. And that is truly me, number 21. 21 is such a unique doll for American Girl. Her hair color is pretty unique from photos it seems to be a lighter red so not as dark as dolls like 61 or 65 but it doesn't look as red as dolls like 38 either so I'd have to see her hair color in person to fully give you the analysis of what it looks like but for American Girl it's pretty unique. 
like. Her wig is short, which is unique for especially the Truly Me line. And another really cool thing about her is that she may or may not come with pin curls depending on the era your 21 is from. The dolls with pin curls are super unique because I don't think there are any other modern dolls that come with pin curls. And even without, her wig is so cute. I saw a video recently, I forget who it was, but they had a Truly Me 21 with her hair in braids and her pin curls or like the pieces at the front sticking out. And it was so cute. And that has just boosted 21 even higher on my wish list. So she's such a unique doll for American Girl, even with the classic mold. Because of that, she is one of my favorite dolls American Girl has ever made. And I want her in my collection really badly. Next is the girl of the year for 2022. And that is Corinne Tan. I was taking photos of her the other day and I was reminded of how pretty she is. And I genuinely think she is one of the most photogenic dolls American Girl has made in a while. And the reason I say that is because with her face mold, which is new by the way, makes her unique, bonus points for that, her eyes actually are bigger than the typical American Girl doll eyes, which I know some people are not a fan of. Maybe they don't like her in because they think it looks weird, but for photos, because her eyes are bigger, there's more light that reflects off of her eyes and they just look so bright in so many photos and it's so stunning. I was taking photos at a park with me and my dolls AG the other day and I had the courage to just carry my Corinne doll Karina around in public and just hold her up to things scouting out the perfect photo spots and her eyes were reflecting the light and it was so pretty that I was like let's stop in front of these flowers and take a photo because she looks so stunning and I love how they turned out. Now I definitely have a few other dolls in my collection that I would say their eyes are ultra reflective compared to other American Girl dolls, but Corinne is on a whole other level because her eyes are so much bigger. They just look so stunning to photograph. And as much as her blue hair knocks her down a few points for me because I'm not a colored hair gal, her blue is not in your face as much as it is with some other dolls, like the whole street chic crew. You could easily throw her hair in a low ponytail and nobody would see the blue or even just hide it behind her her shoulders and Photoshop out any remaining blue if you are not a big fan of it. And I was watching a live stream earlier and people were debating about Corinne if they like her or not. But if you guys, anyone watching this is considering getting Corinne, first off, watch my video about if you should get Corinne or not. And second off, if you're concerned about the blue hair like I was, I often honestly forget that she even has blue hair because you can hide it so easily and it only really shows up towards the bottom of her wig. So it's not in your face, which I really like. She's just a really pretty doll. Doll. So unique for American Girl and one of my favorite recent dolls similar to Melody just because of her eyes and the ability to photograph her. Finally, we have Truly Me number 54. This is another doll I really want in my collection but I don't have and why she's one of my favorites is that she's so unique compared to all the other Just Mold dolls. I really want a light skin Just Mold in my collection. I have Kanani of course to represent the Just Mold but I want a light skin doll. The problem though in my opinion is a lot of the Truly Me with the Jess mold just look like Jess but with slightly different hair lengths. 54, however, her wig is like completely different. Yes, it's also still long, but she has bangs, which makes her very unique. And I just think she's a really pretty doll. A lot of the Truly Me dolls that have bangs are just classic molds because they were some of the first Truly Me dolls in the line. So having a doll that first off came out more recently and is not a classic mold with bangs is quite unique for American Girl. And I really hope to have 54 in my collection someday soon. So those are some of my favorite dolls that American Girl has ever made. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below some of your favorite dolls that American Girl has ever made. Retired, not retired, Bitty Baby, Welly Wisher, Bitty Twin, I don't care. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more American Girl doll videos. And of course, have an amazing day and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!